Welcome to the Jet Ski Fishing Show. Today's show is going to be a little bit about some winter fishing. I've headed out to a little place called Shag Rock on uh, the southeastern end of Waiheke, out on the Hauraki Gulf. Just fishing off a little bit of structure. And I'm just going to give you a few little tips and tricks on how to catch fish in the winter. Fishing soft baits. It's on its way down there now. So let's get it down there. See how we get on. Oh, here we go. Not bad. So right on arriving at the bottom, it's been picked up by a little panny. Not huge. But a pretty good start. That's what winter fishing can be like. You've got to find the fish on the sounder, and you've got to know where to go. You can't go to the normal summer spots. When you get them, there's some beautiful eating fish. It's a beautiful eating fish. Fattening up over winter. That's going to be beautiful. So probably the biggest key when you're fishing in the winter is not to fish the same places necessarily where you'd normally fish in the summer. Because the fish just aren't hanging out in the same places. They're not hanging out in those channels. There you go, a bit of an inquiry. Yep, fish on. They're not hanging out in those channels. They're hanging out on the edge of structure at this time of year, feeding up, putting on some condition, getting ready to spawn. We're in uh, mid-August now. And it's not going to be too long before the big females start coming in around the top of Coromandel and the big males. And we'll see some huge workups. That's going to be in the weeks to come. Right now, it's a great time to fish some structure and catch some fish like that. Not huge just yet, but you can catch some nice fish. Got a 17 pounder on this spot last week still some nice fishing to be had and as you can see two fish from two drops right here we go drop number three so I'm fishing today in 14 meters of water just off the edge of a little bit of structure it's a well marked piece of structure and all I've done is I've just mowed it around until I've found the sign and there's some pretty good patches of sign just off the edge of it oh we hooked up oh dropped it just off the edge of it there's some pretty good patches of sign and as soon as that bait's getting down there it's getting an inquiry. Nothing huge yet, given that I've got a few people for dinner tonight. Some little panties. Won't go on this. Oh, dropped it. Here we go, we're coming into the sign. This is looking good. It's looking like there's some very, very nice sign there. Just on the edge of the fowl. It's still on the sand, just in a little bit of weed, and those moochers are just mooching around out there, looking for something to eat. We drop down our soft bait to them, and we try and entice them to munch it down. So what I like to do, is if I drop down and nothing happens, I'll often wind up again, just to drop it down again because I would say that 80% of the good fish that I catch are on the drop, not while it's sitting there bouncing along. The big fish will come along, as that soft bait's dropping down, it'll drop down into their school, it'll see it, it'll come up above the school, off, hit it, and you're on. That's when you're gonna get the good ones, so that's why I spend the time winding up, dropping back down. So you'll hear a lot of people say, oh, there's no fish around in winter, or you know, fishing in winter's hard, but it's about finding them, and it's about giving them what it is that they want to eat. When you find a bait that they're taking, and I know that they're taking the nuclear chicken at the moment, then use that bait. Use as light a jig head as you can get away with, because that bait has to be nice and presentable. That's the key, it has to be looking natural, and you have to be enticing them into a bite sometimes. Sometimes they'll be hard on the bite, sometimes they won't. But look for that sign on the sounder, the Lorance just gives some excellent definition of that fish below. And I can just drop straight into it. And every time we're hooking up. 
got sort of motored back over the sign. Beauty of the sea do with the intelligent brake reverse on the left hand side here is like in low slow drift days like this I can pull straight over the sign, pull the brake and the ski will just stop dead right there right on the spot and if you're doing a small drift or it's quite shallow with not much current you can drop straight onto them and get into fish like this straight away I've dropped straight onto a small patch of sign and straight into a snapper and that type of maneuverability is invaluable when it comes to catching some nice fish. And there we go. Another nice 40 centimetre snapper. That's going to feed the guests tonight. Got 13 guests to feed tonight. So that's going to be perfect. Rightio. So we're back up drift over the sign. Just dropping down into that sign now. Waiting for something to come along and give it an inquiry. Oh, here we go. That's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. The big ones then haven't got all that kicking, they've just got that solid pull. You can see how he just came along and grabbed it, the tip just bent over. And we're away, we're on. We're just on the edge of a reef structure here. So we have to be a little bit careful. But that is a nice fish. I was singing away. Oh. This is the type of winter fishing that we're after. One of these big boys. Oh! One of these big boys got me in the reef. Bust off. So that snapper was caught purely on looking for sign. I looked for sign, hit the brakes right over it, dropped in, bang, on the drop. You saw it hook up on the drop. That's what it's all about in winter. So get out there, give it a try, have a listen to some local advice, go and look for some, some structure coming off the deep, up into a little bit of shallow, maybe just try off the rock a little bit, and see how you get on. In the meantime, we'll catch you next week.